on the foreign scene. St. Helens Bishop's Gate breaks with the Bishop of London and says it will uphold the Bible's teaching on marriage and sex. This is according to the rector of St. Helens Bishop's Gate, William Taylor, as we read in the video media available to the public. William Tello noted with deep sense of sadness that the teaching and action of several bishops in the Church of England with regards to marriage and human sexuality, together with their own bishops' unwillingness to publicly speak against this teaching and action, cost this broken partnership. Adding that the Bishop of London has confirmed her views through speeches at General Synod and in answer to questions at press conferences. The teaching and action with regard to marriage and human sexuality of a number of bishops in the Church of England, together with our own diocesan bishops' unwillingness publicly to speak against this teaching and action, caused this broken partnership. Recently, the Bishop of London has confirmed her own views through her speeches at General Synod and in answer to questions at press conferences and on national radio. Her statement that the church is silent on the matter of sexual activity in same-sex relationships is not silence. It speaks volumes. I will not rehearse again the reasons, biblical and pastoral, for our position. Suffice it to say that St. Helen's congregations sit under the authority of God's word and will continue to uphold the Bible's teaching on marriage and sex as the only route to true spiritual health and genuine human flourishing in this area. We believe this failure of the House of Bishops to uphold God's teaching on marriage and sexuality requires a clear and public distinction between ourselves and those who by their words and actions deny the authority of God's word and walk away from the teaching of the Lord Jesus. The bishops of the Church of England may have walked away from us. By contrast, we will continue to walk in closer and closer union with those who uphold the teaching of God's word. Speaking on the way forward, the rector noted that the PCC at St. Helens has pressed pause on financial contributions to the Church of England as Archbishop Fuller Beach, Chair of GAFCON, the Global Anglican Future Conference and leader of the Anglican Church of North America, has offered to make provision for the annual clergy review process at St. Helens. In the short term, we've taken a number of steps in the immediate aftermath of the February General Synod, even as we await the House of Bishops' revised proposals for the July Synod. The PCC of St. Helens has pressed pause on financial contributions to the Church of England. Those clergy who have completed their training have written to me stating that they can no longer walk together with bishops who have walked away from them. Archbishop Foley Beach, chair of GAFCON and leader of the Anglican Church of North America, has offered to make provision for the annual clergy review process at St. Helens. Foley Beach will be in London in March, where he will meet with leaders of churches in London and Southwark Diocese, and also others from St. Helens. There will be other archbishops and bishops from GAFCON and from the Global South, who visit London in the coming months. Without bishops, not limited geographically to any particular area, nor restricted in authority, diocesan in nature and jurisdiction, clearly not walking together with the House of Bishops of the Church of England, with the authority to ordain, license, and install Church of England ministers to Church of England livings, and to consecrate further bishops, there can be no long-term security for Church of England evangelical churches or clergy. So my aim now, and for so long as I remain at St. Helens, together with the PCC and other clergy and senior leaders here, will be to secure the future of Anglican evangelical ministry in London. We would love to do this within the Church of England.
You will see from the accompanying suite of videos from Anglican bishops and archbishops across the globe that they are ready to help us. We do not stand alone.